Hi guys, Dr. Linda Kramer. Okay, how angels use us to do their work. <laughs> Oops, got to mute my phone. Okay, I only just got home. It's now 20 past 9 a.m. on Tuesday the 23rd of 11 of the 11th 2021. Okay, this morning I woke up after getting another huge energy attack through the night. My energy was depleted, I was feeling scared, I was having fear, anxiety, all the negative emotions that I tell people how to get rid of, right? So this morning, I went outside and I was having my coffee and I said, I looked at the sky like, you know, because I've got this girl and I'm looking at her this morning and I said, you know what, I need an energy clear out. I'm an empath, I need this energy gone. So I'm there doing my sweeping this morning, right? Doing all this energy, go off me, get off, get the F off me. <coughs> and I said, you know what? I need to be put into a position today where I can either go up to the lake and do an energy clear out. I've got to use my singing bowls and I'm stumped today because of all this yucky feeling I've got. I need something to do a video for. So I thought... I have these heart bill, um, heartburn tablets that I take, right? And there's still about four in the box. But I got told, take the script and get it filled. So I got my script. I put, my, put it in my bag. Got my daughter ready for school about quarter past eight, and, which was about an hour ago. <clears throat> and I said, right, we're going to school. So I drove her to school, dropped her off. And as I'm leaving the school, I got told... Get petrol first. And I thought, <clears throat> petrol's going up. My petrol station, which is right here near Chemist Warehouse, which is where I need to get my script filled, right? I'll get petrol and I'll get my script. And I heard her say, her, my girl, get petrol first. So I stopped at the service station, filled up my car, went in and paid. Drove around the back because Chemist Warehouse and the petrol station are all in the same little shopping centre thing. I drove around. <clears throat> I went in, put in my script. Waited, waited. Ooh, 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 insert cricket noises. And the lady said, Linda. And I went, yep, here's your script. Paid for it. As I clicked my card at the cash register, I'm, I walk probably five feet to the front door. And there's a lady there. And she yells out at the top of her voice, help, is anyone a first aid trainer? I was a first aid trainer for two years, right? So I've gone up to her and I said, what's the, what's the problem? She said, my baby's locked in the car. So her car was there and I looked in the car and there's the baby going red, which is not a good sign, by the way. All the windows are up and even though it's overcast today, it's still very humid. So the inside temperature of that car would have easily been 30 to 35 Celsius, which is extremely hot for a baby. So my car was parked across the bay <clears throat> and I, I threw my car, my bag in because I had my bag and the script, etc. And I grabbed a bottle of water. There was a guy there. He turned up and he said, I'm going to smash a window. <laughs> And they said, no, 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 we've got the police and everyone coming. He said, no, 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 get the baby out now. So he smashed the back window, the biggest window to smash. I said, mate, smash the side one away from the baby because it's only a smaller window to replace, so it's a little bit cheaper. So he's kicked in the back of this car, dived into the car, opened all the doors and got the baby out. I was already standing there with my bottle of water, which looks like one of these ones. So I'm pouring the water all over the baby, airing it with my hands. Air and water cools you down, okay? This is first aid training. So <clears throat> then one of the workers from Chemist Warehouse comes out. She's got three brooms and a dustpan thing. And I thought, well, I'm here. The baby looks all right. I'll start sweeping up all the glass. So guess who turned up? Two RACQ, which is roadside assistance, two of their vans turned up, a fire brigade turned up with their sirens, woo! <clears throat> two ambulances, woo! And two police cars, woo! And it was already done because the guy had already smashed the window. 
So I took a photo. I went back to my car after I swept up all the glass. Look at my hair because I've only just got home. I want to do this story first, right? So I went back to my car and I thought, I just got my video for today. So here's a photo. Now I've blacked out the car, Rego. I've blacked out the faces. But there's the car. I'm at Chemist Warehouse. This is from my car across the car back. So this is the car. Look at the window. They've smashed in the whole back seat. I hate to think how much that's going to cost to get replaced. But they've smashed in the whole back window. And here's the lady holding the baby. Right, So you can see the baby just here. Okay. So <clears throat> that's just what's happened to me this morning. So I'm driving home and I thought, wow, baby's fine. Everyone's okay. We've all had a little bit of a laugh after it. I've, my feet are covered with glass, which I've got a couple of cuts because I had open-toed shoes on, so glass has gone in and cut my toes. Irregardless, I don't care. Um, I'll do that any time, okay? But I came home in such a good mood. Look at me now. I'm not having any of that anxiety or negativity that I had this morning when I woke up. So I'm sitting at the back, and I just rang a friend of mine, Sue. Hello, Sue. And... <clears throat> I said, look, I've got to do this as a video because right now on the planet, we're all getting told messages and it's whether we are listening to that intuition of being in that right place at the right time for allowing those synchronicities to occur, right? So we've got to look back and it's only now that I'm sitting here in front of my computer that I can look back. Did I intentionally take my daughter at quarter past eight? Well, we actually delayed a bit because I said to my daughter, hey, I've got to go and do something before we leave. So there was something that my brain is telling me to delay me. When I got to the school, I heard, get the petrol first. So that delayed me again. You see how they do the synchronicities? Because as I was walking out, you know, I had my script <clears throat> and <clears throat> I just left the cash register. It was that instant. I reckon it was a two second window where she yelled out, Help, does anyone know first aid? Because my car, as you can see from the photo, my car was 10 foot walk across from the drip from the walkway, from the um front door of the shop. So if I'd gotten to my car, I would have missed doing that, right? I would have missed. Now, why also did I take a full bottle of water with me? Because usually when I just take my daughter to school, all I'll take is my keys and my bag. So why did I even take a bottle of water with me today? Unless they knew I'd need it. So I want to remind you of some more instances, okay, where this happens, and then I'm going to go into how the angels do this, okay? So first of all, I had to, I'll just show this photo again, guys. You know, look, there's the baby. Here's the baby. Little munchkin. She's holding the baby. And I've blacked out. I've blacked out the car registration. Whoops. What am I doing here? I've blacked out the car registration. And I've also blacked out the faces so we don't see for privacy. Okay. A couple of years back, I had to go in town for a doctor's surgery. I'm a, I'm a doctor's appointment. Um, I don't usually catch trains, <clears throat> but this day I had to catch a train in. My appointment was about 1.30. So I caught the train in, went and saw the doctor, came back to Central Train Station. It was about quarter to four in the afternoon. Um, Central Train Station has 12 platforms, I think. <clears throat> so I walked down onto the platform and it was like thick, six thick. So I'm standing right at the back of all the people in amongst all these hundreds and hundreds of people, peak hour traffic, getting onto a train. And I just heard, walk down further. So I thought, okay, well, maybe, you know, when I get into my train station, that carriage will put me in line with where I walk through to get my car, right? So I did walk down a few <coughs> carriages to, towards the back of the, where the train would come in on the platform. As I'm standing there, <clears throat> the train came in and the doors were right in front of me. Now, remember, I've got about five people in the queues in front of me, right? So the doors open and there was this old man, a homeless man, 
Now, if I say the word homeless, you know the characteristics of what this person would look like. The wavy, matty, unswept, um, unwashed hair, torn clothes, um, very old shoes. And he had one of those trolleys that you hold and it's on wheels. I call them the grandma trolleys, so put your groceries in. He was wheeling one of those. And as he got off the train, there's a little gap. The, the carriage of the train's here and the platform's there. So there's a gap that goes down into where the wheels are of the train. And as he came down there, the wheels got stuck in that gap and he fell over. Everyone in front of me started laughing at him. So I've pushed through this bloody crowd and I went up to the old man, this homeless guy, and I said, are you all right? And he said, I'm fine, but my trolley is broken. So I looked down and the wheels were broken. So instantly, without even hesitation, I looked into my wallet and I had a $20 note. And I said to the man, <clears throat> how much is it for a new trolley? And he said, oh, they're about $10, $15. The only note that was in my wallet, I gave it to him without hesitation. I said, go upstairs as a crazy clerks or whatever the hell cheap shop. I said, go in, get yourself a new trolley and whatever's left, buy yourself something to eat. All those people laughing. Do you think they were laughing now? Silence filled the whole platform. I got on that train and it was silent. Everyone was there with their phones or looking out the windows. <clears throat> they all knew <clears throat> the mistake they'd made that day. Generosity, kindness, helping, supporting, compassion, understanding. They all failed their lessons. I'm not saying that I'm some guru or anything here, but the angels put me into that position that day to do their work for them. Just like today, what's just happened at Chemist Warehouse. <laughs> oh my gosh. So we are put into specific instances in life where we, for some unforeseen circumstance, we're at that right place at the right time where we help somebody else. It may be as simple as smiling at a stranger walking past. We don't know their circumstances. They may be suffering from extreme depression where they're feeling um, life can't go on anymore. And they're walking to a bridge, if you know what I mean. So a simple smile could actually put them back into a good mood where they go and have a coffee and contemplate how to get out of their situation instead. You know, we don't know the consequences, the ramifications or the reaction that happens to a simple gesture of kindness. And that's why the angels can step in and put us at that exact right time to be of assistance to somebody else. Oh my gosh. My whole energetic field today is... <laughs> I hope that you can see the positivity burning out of me today. Because it's not the fact that she left her child locked in a car. It's not the fact that I've now got cuts on my feet where I've got blood coming out of my toes from the glass. I don't give a heck about that. The fact was that really sticking in my head was the fact that she yelled out, help, does anyone know first aid? I was a first aid trainer for two years. And also, how can we explain the fact that I took my bottle of water with me when I never take a bottle of water to school with me? Even when I've got to go to the shops, I don't ever take a bottle of water because I come home and have a coffee or a drink when I get home. So we look at all these little idiosyncrasies, these little coincidences, these little what the heck's just happened then? And it's only when we look at it backwards from the end going back to the beginning. This whole scenario today started when my daughter said, let's go to school at quarter past eight they knew what was coming they knew because there's no time everything's now in the present with the angels they knew 
that I had to be right in the right exact spot where I'm looking this woman in the face when she yells out, help. They knew that I would come and step up to the mark. They knew that I have that natural ability where I want to help other people. So please, guys, when you are presented in life with little inklings, little thoughts, go that way or delay, don't go yet. Or you may have the thought of, Take your water bottle with you today. Just remember, we don't see what is coming because our perspective is only on the on the present and the past. But the angels have the perspective of the future events about to unfold and they put us into that very position where we can help. The whole world at the moment needs angels. The whole world at this point is dire needing of angelic intervention. I cannot expect that angels will just miraculously float down from the heavens and spread out their wings and say, come to me, I will help you. That's never happened before in history, or has it? But what they do do very often is to put us into their shoes where we act on their behalf. Why do you think I've got the goosebumps now? Why do you think I don't give a heck what my hair looks like? I don't care what my clothes look like. Oh, God, look at my hair. I don't care if there's blood coming out of my feet. Because I know today I am looked after. Because they would not let me look after others unless they were looking after me first. Angels work in so many mysterious ways, guys. I've had many interactions with angels over the years. They do help those who are on the right path of our life path, life contracts. They help those who are doing their best when we're faced with adversity, segregation, discrimination and bullying tactics. They look after us. By simple gestures of, you'll see a butterfly going past your window. That's an opportunity, guys, to pause, forget your stress, and just admire that butterfly who's free and only lives for a few days to enjoy that love that that butterfly has given to this planet. <clears throat> My eyes are watering, guys, more than usual. More than usual. I feel like bursting out in such joyous tears of crying right now. Because why? Why do you think? It wasn't the fact that I helped that lady. It wasn't the fact that I was thinking of all the criminal charges that she could have had from locking the baby in the car while she went into the shops. I don't care. I'm joyous today because I'm looking at those consequences, those synchronicities, those idiosyncrasies. I'm looking at all those planned events that the angels put us into where I can now identify that these guys are truly working with me. They're working through me. And they're letting me be their voice. What do you think I said to that lady? Did I accuse her? Did I say, oh man, the cops are coming, they're going to charge you? I didn't say anything like that. I said to her, go home and just hold your baby and be thankful that he's all right. Give him a bath and laugh and smile and appreciate everything that you have in your life because it's always the smallest things that we don't know if it's a sign from the angels coming through to just give us that little bit of hope in a world that's losing hope we're acquiring this little sense of love 
And what do you think I love today? The love I have is showing me my true characteristics because our true colors are coming out. It shows me. So now I'm 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 now discovering my own self-worth, my own self-appreciation, my own self-respect. Linda, you are a person who likes helping others. Linda, you are a very supportive person even to strangers. Linda, you took that time to sweep up all that glass. I should have been home 25 minutes ago. But I stopped and I helped others with no consequence, no reward, no compensation. The only compensation that I'm sitting here now with is the fact that I'm realizing the angels knew at quarter past eight that I was about to get rid of all this negativity I've been holding inside of me this morning. So, Guys, if there's one thing that I want you to know today, life has got roller coasters. We go up on extreme highs of love and joy, kindness, generosity, understanding, forgiveness. And then straight away, we're plummeted into grief, distresses, despairs, traumas, absolute depression and anxieties. And that's why it's called life, because we go through those emotional up upheavals and um, best time and scenarios so guys just remember to pause pause and think to yourself what is important to me today because when we truly start to value ourselves when we start to see all those qualities that we've kept hidden within and we look at ourselves and we say Linda you are valuable Linda you are supportive. Linda, you like helping others when there is trouble. Linda, you are loved. And then I say to myself, Linda, I am loved. I don't care about the people at the shops. I don't care about the four police officers, the four ambulance officers, the two RACQ guys and the four pol um, fire engine guys that turned up. I don't care about them. They've gone on to do their jobs for the day. I care for me. Was it fair for me this morning when I woke up that I filled myself with fear and anxiety? No, it wasn't. It's only fair when I treat myself with the true qualities that I possess. So the universe has just put me into the position where I had to learn or re-recognize who I truly am. On Saturday, I went over to the protest in Brisbane City. There was 150,000 people there. Funny, I was talking to the friends. Yeah, there was eight of us in a group. And I said, for some reason, I've got to walk down to the front so I've walked down to the front. There's a guy next to me. Then there was a woman. And then she yelled out, medical emergency. The lady next to her. So yeah, imagine the crowd, 150,000 people. Three people, only like three feet to my right, a lady fainted. She had heat stroke. And guess what I was holding that day? A bottle of water so I doused her face I put it all around the back of her neck and down her arms and on her feet and upper legs I got the guys to come over and make shade over her so she would cool down and I was doing this to fan her with the water why did I get told to go down there why that specific spot so I'm within like a five foot radius it was probably only three feet but why was I specifically there at that exact time unless it was already prearranged or predestined from the angels. Look within yourselves today, guys. Make a list. Get out a pen and paper and say, I am, at the top. I am kindness. I am generosity. I am support. I am compassion and understanding. 
I am not judgmental. I didn't accuse that lady over there. I was helping her. And this is how the angels truly make the world a better place. By using us to be their little minions. Do I feel proud of myself today? Extremely proud. So there's my self-pride going up. My self-worth has just been added 20,000 zeros to the end of my self-worth. If my check was worth $10 billion, imagine all those zeros now going on to the end of it. So you write that down. I am so valuable. I am so worthy to do the work of the angels. So ask them, guys, in all sincerity, in all honesty, say, please allow me to be the volunteer that you use to help others. What sort of day do you think I'm going to go and have today? First of all, I've got to go and have a shower because I've still got glass in my jeans and all over my feet. I haven't even cleaned myself off yet because I wanted to get this video out. Because I want to spread this emotion to all of you that I've got right now. I hope you feel great about you. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. Don't think it's my ego at play here because I'm not egotistical. I share my stories so you feel all those emotions that gather into a big ball of energy to create love. Have a great day, guys. Talk to you all again soon. Bye. To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.